The time has finally come. After three months of being stuck on the ground, today we go flying. This video was filmed on Tuesday the 30th of March, the day after recreational flying was permitted again in England, and my sun dance last night seems to have done the trick. The blue skies and negligible wind makes for perfect conditions to blow off 12 weeks of rust. Red Hill Tower, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. QNH 1029 Information Sierra, local flight. Uh, we're at Hang 8. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, roger. Uh, pass your message. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA 28 opposite Hangar 8. Uh, one on board, request taxi, local flight uh, southeast. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, 3D open up to Hotel 1 uh, for checks. Squawk 3767. Hotel 1, Squawk 3767, Golf Oscar Romeo. Stay tuned because today we have a special giveaway. One lucky viewer can get their hands on a new noise cancelling headset. Come on, set for takeoff. Control function nut is tight, mixture is rich, magnetos on both, master switch is on, pito heat is off, primer is in and locked, fuel pump on, we're on the left tank. Got uh, three and a half hours, instruments uh, one, one, zero. And it's going to be a left turn immediately after. Temperatures and pressures, altimeter 1029. We're strapped in, doors are locked, carburetor heat cold, controls. Transponder ready to go on. So, uh, we've got, on 18, we've got 851 and we need 524. We've got two stages of flap. Uh, crosswind not limiting. In the event of a problem, we'll try and land back. If not, select the glide, which is 75 knots, so push forward immediately if we lose power to maintain a safe airspeed. We've got a field slightly to the right, uh, but it's a left turn, uh, not above 1,400 feet. Got Oscar Romeo, Hotel One, ready for departure. Got Oscar Romeo, line up, runway 18, Gunston Railway Station, departure, not above 1,400 feet. Line up, runway 18, Gunston Railway, departure, not above altitude 1,400 feet. Got Oscar Romeo. I shared a video with my supporters club members last week where I talked through threat and error management for this flight and why I decided it was safe for me to go solo without an instructor at checkout. Visit my website to watch that bonus video. OK, pressure's fine. From the end of runway 18 at Red Hill to where Gatwick's controlled airspace needs to be avoided is just three quarters of a mile, so we make an early left turn. At a safe height and with wings level, I pitch forward to increase speed and then I retract the flaps. Go 
Oscar, I'm about the Trezor Wild. Request frequency change, Harbour Radar 123.225. Golf Oscar, a reminder, I close on the hour. Uh, squat conspicuity, free call, Farber. Roger, squat conspicuity, over to Farber. Golf Oscar, man. Farber radar, good morning. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, request basic service. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, Farber radar, pass your message. Good morning, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28, Red Hill to Red Hill VFR. Uh, currently three miles northwest of Tunbridge Wells, altitude 2,200 feet, 1029, routing towards Lima Yankee Delta, then Ashford, and uh, back to Red Hill. Request basic service. Golf Oscar Romeo, q 1029 correct basic service, squawk 1732. 1029, basic service, 1732, squawk Golf Oscar Romeo. Hey, so we're up and away. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right, in a moment we're going to do some rust removal with some steep turns at altitude, some stools, and also um, practice some forced landings. But before that, we've got a little advertisement coming up, but also a chance for you to win this. A set, a headset set. A headset set? A headset. <laughs> uh, which is... Active noise cancelling. Listen up. I've teamed up with Pilot World Shop, an online store selling headsets and safety equipment. They've asked me to try out their Wilco Active Noise Reduction headset and to let you know what I think of it. Yes, they have paid me to do this, but I will never be dishonest with you, nor will I endorse anything I don't approve of. I've roped in James to be my model for you today. He looks happy about that, doesn't he? Because the headset is made from carbon fibre, it's lightweight and comfortable. It has a battery status LED, Bluetooth for connecting to your phone or music device, controls over the priority of the intercom, left and right volume dials and an auxiliary input. It costs £524, including VAT, which, if you compare with the cost of some of the better known active noise reduction headsets, it's good value. I've been trialling it on a couple of flights now, and actually, it's uh, it's it's very comfortable. Very often with these sort of with these uh, headsets, particularly the the ones that don't benefit from active noise cancelling, after about an hour or so of flying, you get this sort of clamping force on your head, and, and they they can tend to ache and be uncomfortable. I've flown this before for a couple of hours, and I've had no aches or pains at all. The sound is very clear. And the noise cancelling, I mean, I know you're going to buy a, a Bose or a Lightspeed if you've got a £1,000 to do that with, but if you haven't and you maybe want to spend that money, that extra money on your flying training or your flying, then this is a good alternative. Or if you've got a Bose already, this might make a good second headset, a comfortable second headset for your passenger. We're giving away this very headset. To be in with a chance, then respond to the giveaway post on the Pilot World Shop's Instagram, Twitter or Facebook profile. The closing date for the giveaway is midday British time on Sunday the 11th of April. Full terms and conditions are on my website www.johnhunt.net. Good luck! Good approach, good morning, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, request basic service. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, lead approach. Good morning. The QNH1029, a pass your message. QNH1029, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, Pier 28, Red Hill to Red Hill VFR. Uh, currently one, two miles northwest of Lima Yankee Delta, uh, climbing through 3,500 feet to 4,000 feet. Going to be operating between uh, 500 feet and 4,000 feet uh, at uh, approximately 10 miles to the northwest of Lid. Request basic service. Golf Oscar Romeo, the Squawk 7066, basic service. No known traffic to the northwest, so report where you're in position. And just taking your current position as you cross through the ground station. Squawk 7066, basic service. Uh, what was your request, sorry? And your current position, please. Roger, the current position is uh, one, one miles northwest of Lima, Yankee Delta. Oscar Romeo, Roger, reporting your per position for whatever work you were doing. Roger. The first manoeuvre I want to practice is the steep turn, but before going into this period of air work, I do a hazel check. 
Okay, so we start doing our uh, hazel checks. Um, what time do we start on that? We've got 10 minutes left on this tank. We're going to put the fuel pump on. Golf, right. Bravo, Golf, Alpha, Alpha, I'm afraid I'm right. enough, to high enough to the radio. recover by 3,000 feet. Um, airframe. Uh, let's have a think about that. We've got uh, brakes are off, flaps are down. Security, we're strapped in, doors are locked, and most items are stowed. Engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. We set heart, carb, heat, and we've got mixture rich. Our location, clear of clouds, crowds, controlled airspace. What's the other one? Clear of clouds, crowds, controlled airspace. Uh, let's have a look, let's check the hazel. Location, uh, built up areas, controlled airspace, clouds, danger areas, airfields. Golf Oscar Romeo is uh, seven miles northwest of Lima Yankee Delta, commencing general handling between uh, 500 feet and 4,000 feet. Golf Oscar Romeo, right to report complete. Welcome, Golf Oscar Romeo. Let's do uh, a look out to the left on two zero. Okay, let's do a steep turn to the left so we can keep him in view. Try to maintain 4,000 feet. Okay, we climbed there to 4,200 feet. Light enough to recover engine temperatures and pressures. Look out, and the location's good. We'll just go into a one to the right, maintaining. Still climbing. My problem here was that I was a bit tame with the turn and it wasn't really a steep turn. After a couple of practice goes, I finally nailed it. Go into a right hand one. This is feeling more like it now. I'm having, I'm needing black back pressure now. That's better. Feel the G-force now. Next, I attempted some power off stalls. This is where I slow the aeroplane right down to the point at which the wings can no longer generate lift. So we're high enough to recover by 3,000 feet. Engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. We'll just set the DI, let it settle down. And we'll change the fuel tank to the left tank. OK, we'll try some stalls here. So the aim is to keep the ball centred and stall. Recover. Right, high enough to recover. Engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. Carb heat. It's very uncomfortable. I don't like doing this on my own normal. Good. Happy with that? 
Finally, I practice an engine failure. We call these PFLs, practice forced landings. I'm well out of practice at these, so bear with me as I fumble my way through. I just don't like doing this at all. Okay, we've got carb heat on, we've got fuel pump on, and I'm selecting the glide of 73 knots. Change tank. And uh, what have we got to do? Mixture's rich, we've got enough pressure. Um, right, we need to turn. I knew this simulated engine failure was coming, yet I'm not responding well at all. Yes, I've checked the fuel, I've put the carb heat on, the fuel pump, and checked mixture rich. I've also prioritised getting on the best glide speed, but I seem to take an age working out where I'm going to land. Being at 4,000 feet, of course, I have plenty of time, but I just can't make a decision. An airstrip there, but we can't do that. Obviously, I would use the microlight airfield I can see if this was a real emergency, but I can't go near it in this simulated engine failure today. I'm fapping about here. Any of these fields will do, but... Um, same for that one there. While looking out to choose a field, I've let my airspeed increase to 80 knots. We're going to come in to land sheep in that field. Now I see that the field I've chosen is full of sheep. Nonetheless, I continue towards it. In real life, of course, I'd have to look for somewhere else to put down. On the second practice, I put the engine to idle at 2,000 feet and tried again. Turn downwind, which is northerly. Mayday, 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 Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, a PA28, suffered engine failure uh, eight miles northwest of Lima Yankee Delta. Looking for a field to land in. Going into that one. Field we want there, to the right of the pond. So we've got carb heat on, mixture is rich, pump is on, we've changed fuel tank. When I tell you to brace, you put your adopt the brace position that I told you about earlier. I'm a bit high for this field on base leg and so I do some S turns to correct that. Squawk 5021, basic service, QNH1029. Squawk 5021 and 1029 with the basic service, Squawk from you, Victor, how far north are you reaching? From Victor, we'll be maintaining the west got the area. Roger. Golf Echo Alpha, report your squawk to south end. Frequency is... Uh, 730, this bye-bye. Happy that I'd make the field, I climb away before getting any lower than 500 feet. Can we make that? I'm pretty certain I would have survived an engine failure today, but my performance on this task was sloppy. I was indecisive, didn't really follow the drills in a cohesive manner, and forgot quite a few steps. I have a flight booked with an instructor in a week or so, so we'll focus on brushing up my PFLs with him then. Go for Scrimmy, final runway 18 to land. Go for Scrimmy, runway 18, surface wind 140 degrees, 5 knots, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 18, go for Scrimmy. That was an enjoyable flight, really enjoyed that, but 
some issues that I need to brush up on when I next fly with an instructor. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and fly safely, my friends.